Let's go. Big face. <sighs> little face. Big face. Little left, right, up, down. And then finish with tongue twisters. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many peppers would Peter Piper pick? That's how you start warming up your voice. Ta-da. You think you got higher among bunch, but you're actually getting fired within the bunches. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Higher Bunch of Fire Bunches. Well, <laughs> I gotta say thank you, Steve, for the uh, for the splendid show to tell us how to prepare their um, you know your interview. But you know, actually, we cannot do that because <laughs> for the actual interview, we have a lot to prepare and. Some of you, if you have follow up with me so far along the way, you know some of my uh, episodes actually have built up some constructions and bases for you, you guys to follow in order to prepare your interview. Um, so today's episode, I'm going to first of all review what we have talked about in the previous episodes, and then I'll show you guys um, a few tours that modern day's technology <laughs> so we can use it before um, your interview right so basically first of all um, if we are talking about interview we will go back to the time we started uh, preparing our resume um, so in this episode uh, let me show you guys all right so the, in this episode I actually show you a few uh, modern tools you guys can use for your resume prepare basically you know you started with job description your yeah top resume tips 2022 that's a great episode but this one i show you ai how ai can help you with resume prepare of course what you need to do first is write research not only the the, the company but also the uh the job description and um more importantly, um, this episode, I introduced you to uh, ChatGPT. Yeah, back then that was uh, 3.5. Oh, I'm sorry, that was 4. So you pretty much copy-paste your uh, job description, and then you're asking AI to either refine, revise, review your resume, or to actually uh, feed them some information about yourself and... Um, like give you a has like a basically rewrite a new resume for you guys. So uh, that's the trick. And by doing so, uh, first of all, you can have a very clear picture of your, um, you know, comparing to the keywords and in the job description, you would have a very good resume that was written in professional way by AI. And then second of all, it's going to be your frame uh, for you to prepare surrounded for your interview, your next step interview, if you got the interview invitation. Um, so by doing the similar thing, we can start our interview preparation as well. Now, let's get back to the studio. Um, so what I'm trying to do here, uh, first tool I'm going to introduce you guys is GTP himself to help you prepare your interview or interview warm up. So let's see. Okay. I started my GPT four and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the beam button. So by working with this version of GPT four, you're going to have inter uh, internet access. Um, it's really interesting and it's really easy. Well, you just type, okay, ask me, uh, I want to do a mock interview, uh, in the field of, uh, what do you want to do? Mechanical engineer. Can you help me? And blah, blah, blah. It's going to be okay. Absolutely. I'd be happy to blah, 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 blah. So by working with GPT to prepare an interview, first of all, it's resourceful, right? 
Uh, nowadays, you have GPT connected to internet, so it will help you research something if uh, it does need access to internet. And then, second of all, um, because of that, it will give you a lot of uh, like a feedback, a lot of feedback. Like, okay, okay. So first, mock interview uh, with me by asking some of the top common interview question do you understand all right here we go absolutely a response absolutely da 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 tell me blah 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 feel free to provide as much detail as you like so this this is this is what what they're doing okay and then you can prefer okay i will do the first one of course uh human factor response is part of the uh, uh, it's part of upgrading process, you know, the GPT company, OpenAI is trying to do, all, basically all the AI companies try to do this. So we choose this one and we do, uh, tell me about experience in the field and you can do, oh, I have uh, some experience in, in manufacturing, oh, sorry, fabrication, fab, in, let's see, uh, car engine for five years right <laughs> all right i have to stop right here right so by doing this way um first of all it's a resource for second of all you're gonna have a lot of response professional way because gpd always doing the uh you know they hook up the database in the back end and also the resource on the internet so that's what it is and the con is what yes they can't talk. You're not gonna have in person or personalized uh, vocal response as you should be in a typical mod interview. So that's that's, I mean that's GPT. I mean you can judge by yourself uh, if you want to go this way. And the second goal, of course, uh, the second tools I'm gonna introduce you is the one that you can talk actually to a a person. Uh, this is this is what we said. Um, I found this one. Um, okay, no sponsorship. All right, it's a hello interview. Uh, you know, you have like a real human to do you uh, mock interviews. I don't know what that is. Maybe th th this one also got AI mock interview. Maybe this one give you a um, machine voice or something. I haven't I haven't paid on any one of this, but. So, of course, the mock interview, you're going to have vocal and personal response and they give you pricing. And what we can do is, OK, uh, can you just uh, suggest me some uh, in-person mock interview services online? OK, so it start browsing and uh a few minutes later and it will give us a list all right so that's what uh the mock interview in person online gonna do of course the pro is yes you're gonna have real person personalized uh, response but the con i would say man it, it's gonna be pricey right and i'm not I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be lifetime so you have to pay by service or pay by time you know either one hour or uh 30 minutes whatever and the last one uh for today at least for today's episode uh by far my research okay gtb can stop <laughs> and the last um warm-up tour that i'm gonna introduce you guys uh maybe you guys already know so this one is kind of combined both um it's it's still in in i think in beta mode but it's still not uh, in process, but I think it's uh, it's it's a very good combination. And this one will be this. Uh, Google actually do have a AI interview warm up system. It's it's kind of combined the both. You know, you have the AI database and access to the internet, but in the meantime, you do have a uh, feedback in real time. So let's try this. Start practicing. Oh, you can hear something. Yeah. Well, of course, it's Google. So, of course, they're going to prioritize all the software engineer, uh, UI engineer, data analytics uh, job as the field. So let's do project management. 
Okay, let's start. Answer five questions. Hi, let's practice an interview for project management. All right, that's fantastic. Can you please tell me a bit about yourself? All right, let's do it. Yeah, I have graduated from one of the prestigious engineering school and nationwide. It was ranked top ten, and I was graduated with an honors degree in mechanical engineering. And ever since then, I have worked with a Fortune five hundred、uh, machine manufacturing company. Either in the U.S. and also with position and remote control responsibility overseas with、uh, project management over China, Japan, India, as well as Mexico. So I believe I'm really suited for this、uh, project management role in your company, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, here we Thanks go. Thanks for sharing. And we can do the next question. Please tell me about some of your strengths and weaknesses. Oh, here we go. So, yeah. So you you know the drill, right? So basically,、um, it will ask you questions and then give you feedback. Maybe even score you.、Uh, you know, it's it's one of the AI human、uh, feedback process. But basically, hey, this is a very good tool. And actually, above above all, all the three are really good too. It just depends on how you how your time frame is and how much feedback and and.、Um, And also responses you want. I mean, hey, look, I know someone who just needs a vent to to practice their、um, either memorization of the preparation, you know, all the question they prepare, or they just need to someone, someone, I mean, something to listen when they talking, right? So, hey, no judgment.、Uh, whatever tools you want to use, but basically, I think all three are really good, and they are AI based. And one of them are person, and that's better. But yeah, it's pricey. But just pick up the one you want, depending on your time frame, lead time to the next interview, and、uh, the purpose you want to prepare or warm up for your interview, and it should be good. Hey, again, this is today's episode.、Um, I hope everything's good for you guys. And let me know.、Um, yeah, let me know which one you like. Comment below. So I'll pick up one to three comments for my next. Episode, but if you like, you know, hit the like button, comments, like or dislike, whatever, comments below, and share to anyone you think might be helpful. Okay, and I'll see you when I see you for the next episode. Peace out, yeah.